Hello, welcome to Radio Free Decipher. Got a fun-filled uh, show for you today. Busy, lots of info. Once again, I'm Kyle Hoyer. And I'm Evan Lorenz, and we are joined today by a special guest. The Say hi. Hey, hey, hey. It's Danny B., <laughs> Danny Bojanowski, the organized play director here at Decipher. Danny, coordinator. <laughs> organized play coordinator. Oh, Sorry. dang, got the, got the <laughs> correction there. All right, all right. So uh, we got a big announcement that went up on the website today. Why don't you get, uh, fill us in a little bit? Yeah, it's uh, called the Decipher World Cup, and it's a very exciting thing. It's uh, specific to Lord of the Rings this year. Um, it's a brand new part of our championship circuit. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, it's a team championship that is more on a global scale. Um, our world championships at that take place at DecipherCon every year are an in individual championship. This is a team championship that will basically pit country against country to see which one comes out on top. Okay. Um, and it's pretty neat. Uh, it'll take place October 16th through the 18th um, in Essen, Germany. Wow. Now, is, that's right around the time of the Essen Game Fair, correct? Yes. Spiel. Yes. The second and third day of the competition will be at the Spiel Convention. The first day will be... At a local yeah, venue. Yeah. Okay. Also in Essen, Germany. Now, now you say team championship, so this is... This is like Team Mexico versus Team Brazil or exactly. Team Poland or something like exactly. that. Exactly. It's a team event, but the games are still played individually. The way it works is there will be the top three rated people from each country, players from each country, and they will be scheduled to play against a different country. And the top rated player from Mexico picks a player from the Australian or the Sure, you know, whatever. The, whatever the opposing team. team. The opposing <laughs> team, and, and they play, and, and vice versa. So th there's three games going on in each match, okay. and you have to win two out of three in each game. Two out of three games in your... Right. Yeah. They can find out all these It's all on the website. On the story. <laughs> <laughs> He's having trouble. There's a lot. There's a lot a of lot. stuff. So this is going to be exciting for yeah. uh, William Dianega then, because I think he's the top-rated uh, U.S. player right now. So. Yep. Yep. But I think there's a Canadian right ahead of him. Ooh. Maybe. I think they keep swapping spots, so by the time I say this, it but, could be reversed. But one of the biggest things that's, that's cool about this are the prizes. Um, the winning team will be, receive a paid trip and accommodations to New Zealand. Wow. Um, with They'll each get to go, and they get a special tour of the Weta workshops uh, to see how Lord of the Rings props were made and special effects and all that good stuff. Now, Weta, they're the people that did all that stuff, all the costumes. They made all the all swords. Props, they yeah. made all the props and everything for the movies. That's very cool. That's pretty cool So stuff. is it too late for us to just, you know, quit our jobs <laughs> and, and play for this? I wish, I wish. Uh, um, yeah, you're actually, you're a really highly rated player. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm playing a little bit. Too bad, you, too bad you can't <laughs> win this, yeah, right? too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also some cash involved for the other uh, okay. team members, uh, the second place team and third place team and all that. But you and can read about it on the this, website. All of this is in addition to world championship plans yes. that have not yet been announced. Right, that is correct. This is a part of the championship circuit. Um, it's basically... But the way to qualify th for this is through your local events and through bigger events. Like, you can qualify through it at, like, you know, continental championships. Those mm -hmm. tournaments that you play still count toward your right. your year today. Right. There's no buys involved in this, but um, your tournament rating is what gets you there. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Very that cool. is that is quite the program, Dan. Yes, you proud? You excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. It's it's good to see it off the off the ground. This is something we've been planning for two for years. Two years. <laughs> and, and it's just now getting off the ground. So uh, the the last couple times I believe that we wanted to do this, it sort of uh, it was tied into a, a number of different things, and just wasn't it wasn't the right timing for it. So, so we didn't want to rush it onto people. So right. this sounds like the perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Go Lord of the Rings. Well, I guess we better uh, let you go set it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Busy man. Busy man. All right. Thanks. All right, thanks, thanks for man. having me. So speaking of really cool Lord of the Rings stuff, uh huh. Mine's a Moria area of Decipher dot com went up today. Yeah. Booyah. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Um, there are nine brand new cards that wow. are posted up there. Actually, some of them have been seen on other websites. But, uh, for example, the Beyond the Height of Men card, uh -huh. uh, some people may have seen that on a website called 9-walkers.de. Nine nine mm -hmm. It's a, uh, the website for the German distributor. Right. The We had to get the cards done uh, well in advance for publication and stuff. 
And so that card had been done for quite a while, like the image and everything and the approvals on it had been done for mm -hmm. quite a while. And it's got actually a different image than is now what on the, the oh, image really? that is now on the card. So you can go to 9-walkers.de and see what the original picture looked like. But if you go on to Decipher.com, you can now see in the Minds of Mori area what the actual card is going to look well, like. Well, that's kind of so interesting. Same gameplay and stuff, just a different image. Cool. So in addition to that, there are eight other new cards and a really cool uh, like preview article written by Matt Clemens, so, right. uh, which gives it, it shows you that those nine cards, but it also gives you a bunch of hints at a lot of other cards like right. the new Balrog right. and all kinds of really cool stuff. So um, I'm sure you know probably everybody went and saw that before they're listening uh, to this. Of course, but, uh, <laughs> you know. So I'm sure you've all had fun seeing that. But if you haven't had the opportunity to see that yet, you know, please check that out. So it's going to be really good. Nice. And I get to go play in a tournament. Yeah, you get to play a lot of Lord of the Rings coming up. You, you've decided to take some vacation time next yep, week, right? Yep, I'm not going to be here next week, so either you're running it solo, buddy, or you're getting a guest host. Uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that out when we get there, <laughs> but uh, but you will be uh, yucking it up in Southern California. Yes, I will, hanging out with some buddies and stuff, but uh, I'm really good friends with a retailer out there, mm -hmm. um, and he just happened to be running a tournament that same weekend that um, I'm going to be out there the 16th of this month, 16th okay. of February. And uh, so I was like, well, dude, I'll come in and I'll play and we'll have a lot of fun. And so I decided to get a little creative. Uh huh. So what I'm doing is uh, we've created what's called, for those of you that don't know, we're creating what's called a bounty tournament. In other words, I put a bounty on myself and a bounty on Brian, the, the guy that the owns the owner. store. And if you beat either one of us, you get half a box of cards. Half a box of cards? 18 packs of cards if you beat one of us. How many games are being played? I think it's going to be a five-game tournament, so we have the opportunity to lose five boxes of cards. Jeez. That ain't going to happen, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're, you're quite an arrogant little... Uh, no, no, it's just all in fun. I, but, um, so that's going to be really cool. Um, we're going to be giving away all that stuff. I'm also going to have some uncut sheets out there with me. I'm going to have a... Chinese starter deck uncut sheet. Hey, that's fun. And, you know, being in Southern California, I decided to bring a Spanish uh, uh, foil <laughs> rare sheet. So, foil rare in Spanish. That's hey, you know, really I, cool. could, I could beat you, like, tonight, like, right now. Do I get 18 packs? No, man. You got to play at, uh, at Squeeze Play. Squeeze Play in Tustin, which is a, a suburb of Los Angeles, February 16th. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Um, please check out uh, the tournaments area for you know how to get there and how to contact Squeeze Play so that you can so you can get down there and and see all that stuff. I forgot. I almost forgot one of the coolest things. Oh. You know what else I'm going to be doing down there? What are you going to do? I'm going to have some uh, other Minds of Moria spoilers that won't be seen uh -huh. anywhere else. Wow. So you come down, you you beat me up in uh, the card game. You know, don't just beat right. me up, but uh, you know, and uh, I'll be showing off some cards and stuff. It's okay. going to be really cool. So Squeeze Play. Squeeze Play and Tustin. All right, February sixteenth. I'll uh, I'll have to have the uh, the interns whip me up a deck. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's all good. I'll I'll figure something out. So I've got some ideas. Use one of the designer challenge decks. I was thinking about that. I've been doing really well with the one that I've been playing. I've kept it together and I've been uh -huh. playing a lot. And I've I've been doing really well with it. So Making the changes. only the only two games that I've lost with it, I have not made a single change. The only two games I lost with it were the two games in the designer's challenge. <laughs> I've been undefeated other than that. So oh, cool. So yeah, it's it's pretty fun stuff. So, but I'm I'm gonna try and get some vacation in there. I mean, okay. I'm gonna be doing some Lord of the Ringsy stuff, and I'm gonna be meeting you know with people and stuff while I'm out there because yeah, it's just you know I'm a glutton for punishment. But I'll be on the beach too. All Mark right. my words. So. Okay. Well, have a good time then. I will try. I will try. Um, in other news, yeah. Star Wars news, yeah. um, we um, are starting to hear lots of really cool stuff from the players committee. Uh huh. They are starting to get out word of. You know, this and that, and they're yeah. starting to contact all the people on the big, you know, that emailed in that they were wanting to help. So Yeah, they've really um, got their plan they're putting into motion now after the meetings. They, 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 have a, they have a really cool direction, and they're going to be really aggressive, so I'm really excited to see what those guys are going to be doing. So uh, check out, uh, you can go to the Game Players Network uh -huh. website. Yep, and they're also going to be doing stuff on, like, our message boards and mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, you should be able to get to those people on one of those two websites. So, But I believe a lot of the stuff that they're going to be doing, announcements and things like that, is going to be on GamePlayersNetwork.com. Okay. So, um, Good for them. Yeah. Um, they've got some cool tournament stuff. Uh -huh. John Arendt has been emailing me saying, yeah. what did you get me into? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's, he's excited, though, and I think he's going to do a lot of really good stuff. Cool. So Looking what have you got Trek for us today, buddy? What do I have Trek for you? Yes, because while you're on vacation... 
I am going to be slaving away at Trek. Oh, yeah? Sean. Sean just walked in here today. Sean, what's up? Jump on Radio Free, man. Jump on Radio Free. What, what's, what's going on today? What do you got for us? Welcome Sean Small into the show here. Kind of a surprise visitor. Sean just walked into the closet and... Uh, Hang on just a sec. We've got to turn on your, your mic here. A little technical difficulties. All right, go ahead and uh, tell us again what's going on. I uh, just had a quick meeting with Warren and Anthony. Uh huh. Um, just discussing some of the Trek promotions that we're looking for in this year. Uh, you know, there's lots of excitement about Lord of the Rings, and it seems that sometimes Star Trek gets buried and all that. Uh huh. However, Star Trek CCG is uh, very much alive in, in our minds, mm-hmm. and, uh, and uh, we have plans for this year. Okay. I can't really reveal much of anything at this oh, time. Oh, man. I wish I could. I know, I know what you've been working on, and I was hoping that you'd say, come in here and just go, I'm shouting from the mountaintop, but we're not quite there yet, huh? No, nope, we're not there yet, and, uh, you know, we, we could go a number of directions with this, so... Uh, but you are working not on it. Not, not, not to give up it or put anyone's hopes up to a pinnacle when uh, okay. it's going to be a, right. uh, just a nice mountain view. <laughs> right, okay. right. Okay. But you're taking care of the of the squad out there. Yeah, we're trying to keep the ambassadors busy. Okay. Good Speaking deal. of which, if any ambassadors uh, ever visit Reno, Nevada, we're looking for some people to <laughs> teach a group of, of people who picked up a, a starter deck at a convention recently, and they're saying, hey, how do you play? Oh, That's good stuff. Oh, so, yeah, there's, there's people out there still wanting to learn. Okay. That's good stuff. God, man, I, I was so hoping that you were going to be, be yelling the big news, man. That's, that's okay. But we're, we're, are we close? Are we getting close, Sean? We are on a uh, a holding pattern I right see. now. Mm-hmm. Getting ready to land. Getting ready to land the plane. Getting ready to land. We're not <laughs> sure which hangar we're going to land in. I okay. See. That is quite the analogy. Right. The, so, uh, well, allegory. Allegory? Analogy? Sure. Analogy? Whatever. Allergy? Is that what you said? No, no. I didn't say allergy. Um, well, thanks for dropping in on us, though, Sean. That's yeah, pretty cool. We will uh, definitely have to keep uh, checking up on you and see if you can uh, break the big news for us. On you you bet. Uh, I, I hope to have something at least by the end of the month for you. Cool. Good. All Good right. stuff. Thanks. Good stuff. All right. You had something for us today. Well, I did, but, you know, I, my thunder has been stolen. Oh, come on. It wasn't still. exciting. You know, my, what I had to say wasn't terribly exciting because, you know, again, like I've been saying, I've been trying to give you information about the motion picture set where I can, but... The simple fact is, you know, it's still not finished. It's still not through approvals. So there's very little that I can, you know, reveal about it. But um, I thought I would drop a little tidbit about sort of the thematic type of focus that we're doing in this set. Um, We're trying to create these really epic kind of deck types because, you know, each one of the movies was sort of epic in scope. You know, this big two-hour event, you know, mammoth importance to the galaxy. And... uh, we're trying to get some of that into the game a little bit. Not not so much necessarily that you you do this thing and you score 100 points and you win, but but nearly that. In that you know, if, if you decide to base your deck around con and you are successful at, at doing what the con deck does, you you're virtually unstoppable. You sure. Know? If you if you play the if you play the Sona deck and you successfully harvest the radiation particles from the Baku planet, that pretty much will lock you into a win. Wow. But doing that, like in the film, is a very difficult thing to pull sure. off. So, you those, know, those rascally enterprise yeah. people always foiling it. It's, it's, it's vaguely like stop first contact from the first contact set, but we're trying to improve on what we learned there because okay. that... That mechanic took many cards to get running, and it didn't work quite so easily initially. And so there were cards like uh, Population 9 Billion All Board that had to come and enhance first contact to really get that working. So we're playing this little tightrope act trying to make it work and make it fun and desirable, but uh, but learning on sort of past you know mistakes maybe would be right. a fair thing to say. But uh, hopefully you'll see three or four different mammoth deck types uh, coming in this set, so that's your tidbit for the day. Excellent. You know, i got to just say something really funny uh-huh. here. Um, right as we started to talk about Trek stuff, yeah. I, I kind of looked out. We we don't have a doorknob on our door for right. Radio Free. So you could look out so the little door can, hole. And I'm facing the door, so I can see like a little eye poking through here, <laughs> like a little eye poking through the little door. And I was like, I wonder who that is. And then we started talking about Trek, and all of a sudden, pop. Like, he was just waiting out there for us to, like, yeah. jump in at the right moment. That's that really very funny. Clever. Very funny stuff. Uh, one other last uh, little yeah, yeah, sure. tidbit that I thought I would um, throw out here is that um, there are some 
other spoilers on other websites than Decipher.com. Uh-huh. Uh, you should be able to go to, of course, Game Players Network to see a spoiler um, for a really cool card. And for Minds of Moria. For Minds of Moria, as well as um, Ryloth.com has one, as well as the One Ring.net. They should okay. all have one up by now, hopefully. I sent it to them yesterday. So. Okay. <laughs> well, if they're on the ball, they've got a spoiler up for you guys to go check out. So Good deal. All right. All right. Well, you, you won't see me next week. Yeah, you enjoy that, man. All right. And, yeah, come see me if you're out in California, though. I will. Uh, I would love to shake your hand and uh, talk Lord of the Rings with you. Okay. So, until next time, have a great weekend. Take care. <laughs>